Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make like a pretty cool intro in 20 Vegas. Um, this tutorial actually started off with just trying to teach my friend how to rotate a picture in Sony Vegas because he's brand new to Sony Vegas and it ended up turning into something way more complicated than that and here we are. So we're kind of creating this flying in text that hits this wall and it turns the lights off and creates a loud bang and sparks fly and everything and it just, yeah. So basically what we have in here is we have the text fly in and the text has a soft shadow under it and then once it hits the wall the lights cut off and sparks fly and glass falls down and all kinds of shit happens so basically let's say we have this text picture I have alright I made it in Photoshop and I'm so proud of it and I wanna make it look even cooler in Sony Vegas so we're gonna open up Sony Vegas and here's all my editing shit okay so I'm gonna file I'll just delete all this shit for now okay so what we're gonna do is we are going to start off by importing um, our texture um, I just found this I actually bought Action Essentials too from Video Copilot you can just search a um, concrete texture on Google and I just came up with this let's change this and um, you go to event pan slash crop by clicking this little button right here and this is going to allow us to rotate it Andrew this is what you're looking for that uh, and um since this picture is more tall than it is wide when we rotate it it kinda gets cut off so to fix that I'm gonna go ahead and rotate it how I want it and I'm gonna change it to negative 90 degrees and that's gonna rotate and it's gonna look like a square and um, to allow the picture to stretch itself fully out we come over to maintain aspect ratio and change that to no and that's gonna stretch it out fairly nice now I saw these black bars on the top and to get rid of those I'm just gonna hold down shift on my keyboard and I'm gonna just shrink it down and what sh holding down shift does it kinda locks it into place on this grid mm -hmm. that way you can get a more accurate measure now event pan slash crop is a little bit more confusing um, when you make it smaller it gets bigger up here and when you make it bigger, it gets smaller. And some people that confuses, I guess, because it confused the fuck out of me when I first learned it. So now we're going to import our flashy text. And um, I'm going to stretch it out. And I'm not going to start it until about four or five frames into the clip. To go over keyframes, you just press the arrow keys. And to zoom in and out, you press the up and down arrow key so down, up, left, right anyway um, I'm going to go over a few keyframes into the video and I'm going to come to the corner of the text or picture whatever you're using here and I'm going to do the fade to offset and fade that in about two so now I have this very maybe one more free keyframe so now I have this very slight fade in and now we can go to event pan slash crop right here and um, hold down shift again and I'm just gonna zoom in zoom in quite a lot actually um, drag it over I'm gonna drag it over to the center of the text which is between these two 44's and whoever can guess what these 44's go to I will I don't, I don't know but I'll be happy I'm gonna rotate it just so when it flies in, it looks a little bit cooler when it flies in. You know, it'll rotate and it'll shrink and... Yeah. But anyway, what the point of the fade was, it kind of makes it look as if it's coming through the camera. Well, of course, right now it doesn't because we haven't added the moving motion yet. So, I'm going to go back into Event Pan Slash Crop. And um, I'm going to go down to this little um, timeline down here and I'm going to drag this over about maybe five keyframes not very many and I'm just gonna hit right click here and hit restore and it's gonna position it perfectly in the center and everything's gonna be perfect 
So now if we play it, let me change this to preview, so it's a little lower quality so it'll play better. As you can see, it flies in pretty fast and it hits the wall, and right now, nothing really happens. Um, I'm going to name these tracks real quick, and I'm going to change this to background light and change this to text light and then um let's find the point if you're gonna do the like the light turning off effect let's find the point where it hits the wall which is right here so that's when it's gonna do a big impact and it's gonna turn the lights off so I'm gonna find that point and I'm gonna hit S on the keyboard and it's gonna split that clip into two I'm gonna do that the same down here I'm gonna come over here and go to insert at the top and do video track and do it again so two brand new video tracks and we'll change it to background dark and we'll change it to text dark and we'll drag this up to here and we will drag this up to here Okay, um, what we're going to do now, um, we're going to come to the event effects. Actually, what we'll do, we'll go to video effects right here, where all your project media is down below. And we will go to color curves. And we have a preset in here, actually made just for this, and it's called night. And we'll drag that onto the background dark, and we'll drag it onto the text dark and immediately it looks pop okay so now what we can do is we can add on um, some sparks um, I got my sparks from detonationfilms.com it is a stock footage website it has um, a bunch of free stock footage from explosions, muzzle flashes, sparks, smoke even to a pre-keyed moon to cars exploding and it also some of it costs money but it has a lot of free stuff too so I went on there and I downloaded some sparks and I downloaded some glass shattering and uh, I'll go to file import media and I'll come down and I'll import these now um, when you save them they're gonna be in a zip folder which means you have to right click it and you have to click extract and if you import them and they are all black you're either going to have to download an older version of QuickTime and restart Sony Vegas or download a newer version of QuickTime I don't remember which one but it's one of those and we're going to go to insert video track and we'll bring in the sparks and uh, when you import a detonation films clip it's going to have this logo at first, so you're going to use the keyboard and go over until the um, logo is gone. And we'll trim it up and we'll drag it over here. And you can see the sparks. And now, in order to get rid of this black background, it's a very cool trick for all you new guys. It's um, go to compositing mode right here on the same track as the sparks, and we'll change it to add and immediately removes all the black now um, what I did myself was I sped it up on um, my if you hold down control or I guess command if you're a Mac user I don't know if they have Sony Vegas for Mac but hold down control and come to the end of the clip and drag it and it will speed up the clip maybe that's a little too fast there we go now um I'll name this track Sparks and I'll actually I'll duplicate it and I'll name this Spark Glow not Glod Glow there we go and I'll go to the event effects and I'll add Sony Glow and I'll click add and I'll click OK and now um, I'll change this to maybe an orange color bring the intensity up and the glow percent up uh, just a little bit not too much and um, what this actually does, it gives us a pretty cool effect on the sparks. Um, I'll zoom this in for you. And now, without the 
sparks glow. That's what it looks like. And it, it's kind of boring. They don't have much glow to them. And um, if you don't have the foreground version of the sparks without the glue, it kind of um, doesn't make them stick out as much. So with both of these added, it really gives a really good glow and punch to it. Now you just add in the glass the same way you did the sparks, without the glow of course, and you're pretty much done. Um, sound effects are obviously optional, but I have these, and it's a delayed whoosh, and it is a metal door clanging. And I'll drag these onto the bottom here. And I'll just mash these up to where they fit perfectly. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Right there is where the metal door needs to cling. So I'll cut that and I'll drag this over to where it is lined up perfectly. Maybe trim that one up a little bit. Fade that in. And um, actually what you can do now is after you go to file and render and you save it as a WMV or an ABI or whatever um, and you want to add a little bit of camera shake to it I'll cover that too real quick if I have enough time which I probably don't but I guess I'll have to find out and um, let me find it fly in text this is after you render it and you want to add a camera shake to it okay so it flies in I forgot about the shadow but um, if you want to add the shadow, um, all you have to do is copy the text the, on the text layer and um, go to brightness and contrast, change it and bring the brightness all the way down, then add a Gaussian blur. And that pretty much does it for the shadow. And you can bring the opacity down by just doing this come to the top of the video you'll see opacity is and the little um, mouse will change to a pointer and you can bring it down anyway let's add the camera shake let's go and right th there there we go stuttered we need to add the camera shake so I'll split it right there just for easier editing purposes and I'll go to a bent pan slash crop and I will go to position and I will zoom it in just a little bit to where you can barely even notice and I'll just kind of move it over there go over a keyframe or two bring it down to the bottom corner go over a keyframe or two bring it to the left corner and then go over another keyframe or two and restore it so it's going to be a quick little I'm going to replay it until you guys can successfully do it because I know this video recorder lags everything. So, 13 minutes. I have a minute and a half to spare since apparently YouTube says I have that long. So, <clears throat> uh, <sighs> hmm, what to talk about now? Let's see here. What the fuck happened? Where the hell did my video preview go? There it is. What's that say, guys? That says rate comment subscribe oh my god that's such a great idea let's go subscribe to aba44 fan yay bye